Hello? Hello and welcome to my book launch. Yes, it's the book launch of my book. Rick Reeves art book. And here it is. Look at that. It would not normally would be in a big massive great big gallery in uh, in London which is the capital of the UK <laughs> but we're not we're in here in Canterbury in my friend Jack's um, art gallery the platform in Canterbury and we're um, having a look and celebrating the launch of this fabulous new book what I done which is a selection of um, about 300 plus paintings which are done main, mainly over the last three years. There are some which are older, but they're mainly three years old. And looking at the front cover, isn't that fantastic? Here, Beautiful. oh look, there's a print as well. Print available on the website <laughs> to mark this um, occasion. And, um, but here, is the original piece of work. Let me tell you about that. Now that was painted just after, about one year ago, after um, we'd been on a holiday in New York. We went to New York and uh, we went there and we had, oh what a marvellous time we had. All the fun we have in New York. <laughs> There's Nancy, she'll tell you all about it. It was like, amazing. Uh, uh, but when we were in, we were in a hotel room and I brought a yellow wig with me. I don't know why, but I brought it with me. So I put on this yellow wig. And one morning in New York, um, I borrowed my daughter's um, eye makeup and did the high <laughs> eyebrows like the girls like to do now. So I thought I'll do myself like that and, and applied lipstick in a very haphazard manner and, and put on the yellow wig. You look beautiful. Thank you. Um, <laughs> took a photograph. Uh, of course, I was semi-nude at that moment. <laughs> I did have pyjama bottoms on, but I, took, there was a, I did a selfie. No, someone took a photograph of it. I don't know. But anyway, so I, took that, I thought I liked that image uh, and and produced it and, uh, and did it. The only thing I'm really not happy with is the hair. And at some point, and people, artists will tell you this, they're never, ha never happy with the, the final product. So at some point, I'm going to do that yellow hair in a big, bold yellow stripe. Um, anyway, but there are, I did some prints of that. Now, moving on, and it carries on through the book, as you start off through the book, you, um, you find there's um, a lovely foreword by my friend Grayson Perry. I won't bother reading it, but it is very, very nice. Um, and then it goes, self-portraits. So the self-portraits, look at that, there's Bob and me. Um, at the gym, Working very out. overweight, apart from Bob who looks like a dwarf who's underweight. <laughs> um, there's a picture there of us on dogs, which brings me to this one here, which is Bob and I on these dogs here. Now, they're nice, big, gruff, grotesque dogs. These are dogs that we used to go to um, when we were filming. Last year we did the big night out. The, the last big night out we did was a year ago. And this was how we used to travel to the BBC <laughs> to do it on these dogs, which um, weren't our dogs. They were hired by Hertz, who didn't have any, <laughs> any Fiat's no, or uh, Mercedes or anything like that. And so they said, well, we haven't got any cars left. How about these big dogs? <laughs> so we went on these two dogs. It's a way to travel. It is. Yeah. You're quite right. And uh, so we went on these two big dogs here. And there's another one I did uh, of us on two, two. There's quite a lot of pictures of Bob and me um, in 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 the book, which um, is quite right because you paint what you know, and what I know is me and Bob, Bob and me on dogs. <laughs> <laughs> or on a small moose. Or at the gym. Which, yeah, or, or at the, the gym. gym yeah. um, now, you move on. This, I don't know if this one's in the book. I'm going to take it off the wall so you can see it. It's myself and Bigfoot. Some people have said, no, oh, that's not Bigfoot. That's um, that 
everything from um, Chewbacca. Chewbacca. Yeah. That's, the, that's, that's what the I was name. thinking actually. Yeah. What does he do? How does he do it? <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. It's Bigfoot, and I, I painted myself with Bigfoot wearing these. I, I bought these fabulous sunglasses. They're like 1960s sunglasses and they're concave so they actually come out it's like they look like fried eggs but I um, so I painted myself and I thought it'd be nice to paint myself with Bigfoot but him looking rather benign and uh, looking like he's a very good friend yeah. and I think Big, uh, Bigfoot could be a very good friend <laughs> so well, that's now by the and uh, he's got no yeah he has got nail varnish on <laughs> I'll try and hang that back. Uh, oh, uh, yeah. So, yeah, he's got. Um, so I, I'm very suave in that. Painting. You look like you're at the Savoy Hotel. Well, yeah, yeah it's me. Uh, you look at ease, you as know, a like gentleman's a club, way. perhaps. Um, and Bigfoot's just come in and said, Hi, how you doing? Yeah. Nice to meet you. May I sit down and perhaps join you in a rosé? <laughs> um, <laughs> moving on. A rosé? Round the wall, we've got this one. Which is oh, um, you look lovely there. I Jeff. like doing, uh, you know, that there, there, there's two oil paintings. There's a drawing, and here's another drawing. I'm going to reach out and hold, reach out to people, and hold that up. I love if this. I hold it there, now that is. Sometimes you do drawings that which are whimsical, and I consider that to be one of the most whimsical. It's it's me, and I've been um, in, in medieval costume. Medieval garb. I've been shopping, so I've got shopping bags here. Oversized shoes. I've been shopping for oversized shoes, but on the way back, like the Pied Piper of Hamlin, I've attracted some mice and they've crawled up my leg. It could and happen, into, Jim. It could happen. It, it could has. happen, and it has happened. Yeah. Into my. Um, uh, I, I don't know what you call that area of Pouch. medieval pantaloons. Pantaloons, yeah. It's, it's oh, pre pantaloons. You could put stuff in there. So. It's a medieval costume. Anyway, they've the crept up there. I've got, um, uh, if you look there closely, what let me that? hold the, this a bit, a bit nearer. If you what look here, that? That, that's a cod piece, which um, represented, in, in medieval times, what that represented was that you were very fertile. <laughs> um, I mean, you can imagine. You know, I don't need to explain that. But the mice are creeping up there. Maybe they want. The, they're attracted by the fertility. Um, but these l extra large shoes, which is another sign of fertility. So this is all taking on a, a, a bigger meaning than it initially meant. Um, anyway, so there's um, that one. That's a new drawing. That's a drawing I did two weeks ago which is, I've done a print of, to commemorate this marvellous occasion of the, um, of the, <laughs> of the new book. Um, and then if you look on the back, you'll see this image. Well, hey, wait a minute. That image looks very much like that image. <laughs> <laughs> and you're right to think that because this is an image here, which I painted on this board and I really like experimenting with oil paints and painting on things that you should but like Francis Bacon used to paint on the, the wrong side of the, the canvas he used to paint on the rough side so it soaked in a lot of the um, paint soaked in and this is what I did on this I painted on the wrong side she's got some big of, pants a bit of hard, it's an old bit of hardboard look Look, check it yeah, out. I love it. And so, you're like Hugh Hefner there, like in the well, centre. What I wanted to do here oh, no, you're not Hugh present Hefner. myself <laughs> here as um, the kind of um, Walt Disney's yeah, well, I said brother. Hugh Hefner. I didn't mean Hugh Hefner. Well, he is a Hugh Hefner kind of guy. He's very dapper in his pink suit. Well, he's, I don't know, he's a kind he's, of deep he's, south. He's owning it. He's fella, owning you know, it. He, he? Yeah, he's. Um, he's um, a deep south. Well, he's, he's Walt Disney's brother, and here's the characters that he created, who are dystopian kind of disturbed, um, characters. Yeah. disturbed characters. I like the wig in that one as well, Jim. I think that's charming. She's got some big pants on. Yeah, on, what, on your head. Well, this is 
let's say that's Minnie Mouse. She's clearly a prostitute. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Donald the Duck Donald is, is the pimp. Um, I would say Mickey the Mouse is their illegitimate son. I don't know who this character is. Dusty Bin. But he's got a, yeah, um, bay, a yeah. um, I don't know, a saveloid for a, a nose. And this was painted in, oh, it was really tricky painting this because it was going wrong all the time. You've got to keep um, going when you, you're experimenting like this. So I used quite a bit of ink on here as well as oil. Jim, sorry, paint. I remember you asking me questions about the colour of your suit. Yes, the well, you the suit. Me, what colour do you think? The suit was originally white yeah. and it went pink because the colour was seeping in. Mm. And I kind of just, you go with the flow when you're painting in an experimental way, you kind of go with the flow and see what happens. But I really like this one. Where do the characters come from? The characters come from... His mind. <laughs> I wanted to... <laughs> um, do, I wanted to t look at those Disney characters and then take them into a very dark area. It's like um, a nightmare, but in a good way. that to Minnie. I think they're kind of cute. I like them. You if, could dream is... something like that, though, couldn't you? I know I would. I think they are misunderstood, in a way. They're all misunderstood, but yeah. aren't we all? Cat two characters. But, uh, anyway, but he's in charge, isn't he? He's, yeah. like, you know this bloke here. That's me. That's him. You've got good that, hair going. I use myself as the character. Boss. As the boss here. But, yeah, you know he's got um, a ship on the Mississippi, and these are his servants. Let's move on to this painting here which is one of the more recent ones I've been doing. Now I was kind of um, interested in um, doing something new. So you experiment, you try out some new things and I was looking at Gauguin who I love and um, mandrels, giant mandrels and I thought I wanted to kind of do a bit. So what I do is I look online at um, women in certain positions and um, uh, look, take a picture of a mandrel and I uh, put them all together, get, a, um, get the pictures and then on Photoshop them into the positions that I want them to be in and then use that as the root and that's what I did with this and I just wanted them to be in really bright, I wanted to use really bright colours so I was um, experimenting with a, 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 a new kind of paint on this, anyway, but I like that. The it's, colours are amazing. Um, you know, I like that as well. It's very Tahitian, which it, is... Tahitian is very Gauganian. Yeah, yeah, I love like the colours. Yeah. Like anyway, it. yeah. It just sings beautifully, that one. It's, it's yeah, very exciting, isn't it? Yeah, <laughs> I like it. Now, here we are, birds, which are another big passion of mine. Oh, Let me just take um, a red wine. A slab of red wine, because this is live, and, <laughs> and why not? Water. And why not? I, I can do whatever I want. You would have been I actually like having it. a party at this point. It is a party. Well, by this time, it it's, a, it's a party um, of six. Now, um, I like doing birds. I've uh, I've done a lot of very small birds, which are very popular with with people. But this was the first time I started doing birds, and I did a, this one in a <laughs> in a rather comical way. <laughs> It's a cockatoo with very nice <laughs> breasts. Oh, he's uh, lovely. I think he's seen a cockatoo. And uh, I did that in, <laughs> did th that's in, uh, in oil pastel. And the thing about oil pastel is it never really dries. Is it still so wet? You, yeah, it's always wet. You can you buy just it. Just tummy. Really lovely colours. Colours. If you, you know, you hang that on your wall. If you buy that, hang it on your wall. You know, just touch it and take a little bit of that cockatoo away. With <laughs> I love it. He's brilliant. Have you got a name? What's his name? Probably my friend. Um, I don't know. What, what's a good name for a cockatoo? Paul. Paul. The cockatoo. Paul. Well, cockatoo. Paul. Paul. Paul the cockatoo. Right. Uh, let's move on now yeah. to this corner. Now, with what I like in the book is there's a, a my portion of the book. Yes. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> the top of the carpet. Yeah. Um, 
there's a portion in the book which is called Romantic. Um, I can't believe we're not in there, Jim. We are. Well, <laughs> celebrities <laughs> and there's romance. <laughs> Let's get, see if we can get to the romance section. So, anyway, this is, um, I don't know if that, I think that one is. I can't find it. That's in the book, yeah. Yeah, that one's in the romance section. And this is Prometheus. Now, I put this on Instagram and Twitter, and people said that looks like Brian Ferry. Oh, my God. And oh, my gosh. They got a good point. But what I did was, I like doing this because this is uh, an ink, pen and ink drawing. And I did it in... What I do is I vary in styles from, from realism to things where I stretch. I really like stretching muscles, especially. And if you look at his leg, wow. there's a fabulous discrepancy in the muscles in his leg. It's amazing. And I really like that. Um, and, and the gentleman and behind looking <laughs> awesome. Because <laughs> it makes me laugh, because I think it's funny. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it did, and I liked the look on his face, like he going, Go! What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe it. I'm Prometheus. Oh, is that, no, that's, that's, is that Prometheus or that Hercules? Anyway, it's Prometheus, Hercules, and the eagle. And the eagle, I've really disturbed. Uh, <laughs> oh, but he's going, Go! Help us! What just happened? <laughs> And Jim, the, do you think that when you're painting, is that going through your mind? You're yes, it is, yes. Yeah, but this is you at your best when you do all this. What, these? Yeah, I love it. It's you brilliant. like this best? I do. I know That's I love a lot of stuff, but I love this. You like this yeah. style best. Right, what, what about this? I want to take it off the wall. Yeah, this I did brilliant. last week, and I was looking at Rubens, uh, and I really <laughs> like Rubens, but I thought, I want to do Rubens, I want to do it in a brutalist style. And I want to um, involve a lot more colour. So I've got, the, and I use these um, RNF, um, um, the, the, the colour sticks, but they're pure pigment by RNF, and they're so much better than anything else. I and love that. I just love the, you know, the re red and blue together yes. is. So striking. Absolutely. And that is. Well, thank uh, you. Ah, perfect. Look at that, I'm perfect at hanging nice. around. But I, what I liked on that is to give them. Do it almost. It's an, it, almost in a cartoon way, but with great big, wide, uh, staring eyes. Similar to this, if we move over here, um, I did a redneck in a very brutalist way. With the same starry eyes. The and colours are amazing. I'm now I'm going to walk over here. And rem can, yeah, remove can it. Can you remove that from me, Jack, oh please? Oh, no, go up a bit. Up, up a, a bit. bit more. Hoist okay, it up. It. There, there you go. go. Oh. So I can, I can get this up. Now, that is... And that is... Um, the black bear with a blowtorch. Which is a scene from a holiday that I was once on. <laughs> uh, and the black bear did, in fact, try and dislodge some bacon from some pamphlets in, I think it was Kentucky, I'm not sure, but, uh, and, it, and it set fire to a cash and carry. Afterwards. Oh, you did. No, not me, no, it was the bear. Anyway, so I'll move the bear over there. That rhymed. Bear up to one side, and that's kind of yeah. Well, that's brilliant, Jim. Now, uh, with this, this print available of that, and there's a print available of this. Look, and the prints are such good quality. <laughs> so is my art agent. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, available on the website now. Yes, available, available on the website now. Yeah. TV. Thank you very much. Now, that's a, a quick look around the book, and let's have a look at the book again. Beautiful book, Jen. It is beautiful. Yeah. Let me have a look and see. Um, They're I've selling just... like hot cakes, you know. You need to get in there. And at a good price. Yeah. Very good price. Absolutely. It's not QVC, you know. Well, no, but they are. I'm just I'm just gonna, I just know sure? there's a few, there's, there's a couple <laughs> in here. I'd just like to say which ones are my favourites. 
Um, do you have favourites of your paintings, Jim? Yes, I do. And sometimes I get, I have got favourites, which I, mm. oh, look, look at that, David. Oh, Mark Bowen and Elton John. No, it's, no, it's Elton John. Yeah. And, uh, and Mark Bowen. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. There's, uh, not my favourite. Did Elton comment on that? Is that, he should that have... is one of my favourites. <gasps> oh, because we love, don't we? We love because that show. My wife and I are very big fans of Blue Bloods. We are. It's well, not always at the when they're at the dinner No, table, it's ridiculous. But... We hate it, but <laughs> <laughs> we, we watch it. it no, we do. We, we love watch it. it for fun. <laughs> we have so much fun. That TV. Now this page here, I think is my favourite <laughs> dual page. I love her high back. What, what I really like about this, this, um, uh, this is a, a style, I was, I was using inks here. Is that the flower seller? But the flowers, I really like the flower seller here, because she's, she's so beautiful. pretty yeah. and lovely with her um, flowers. With the flowers. She's beautiful. And yeah, the that finger. That was um, exhibited at the Grosvenor Gallery in London, wasn't it? Absolutely, yeah. 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 Anyway, so there's the book, and now it's time to have some. I'll tell you what we'll do now. We'll have a web ad, shall we? Mm -hmm. A web ad. Web ad. Web ad. And you can look at the website whenever you like, at your leisure. And now, oh, wait a minute. Here's a question from my good friend, Jules Holland. In my view, you are, of course, one of Britain's uh, greatest living painters. The question that I have for you is this. Who are your favourite painters? And who do you most identify historically with as a painter? Well, thank you. Thank you, Julian. That's a very good question. And uh, what I'd like to say is, um, it's a very good question. Uh, when I was at art school, I really was very keen on Gilbert and George, who um, I then uh, <laughs> kind of pursued my love of Gilbert and George by doing The Big Night Out, which was really um, uh, a performance art piece in the style of Gilbert and George. I took performance art and put it on television. But who am I most influenced by? Probably Martin Kippenberger and Albert Erlen, who were German artists, who uh, mainly from the 80s and 90, 80s, really, 90s. Albert Erlen now, but yes, Albert Erlen and Martin Kippenberger, mainly, yeah, Martin Kippenberger, I really, really thought was a great artist. He died a few years ago um, because of his drink, but he was, uh, he was fantastic. And I'm a, um, as a di very diverse painter like he was, so him. Um, and now we've got a question from my good friend Bob Mortimer. Have we? No, I tell you what we've got. A picture. Now Bob sent me this picture today and he's, his question is, I'll have to read this out, because he sent me this picture. Now Bob is... Um, he said, I just painted this this afternoon. Is it a, is it a powerful or be insipid. And I looked at it, he sent me this on a, a, 
a, a text, and I said, I said it's a Scottish beach scene, na naive yet powerful in its depiction. This charming peach could, this charming piece could reach upwards of fifteen pounds in auction. And um, I was right because he texted me back and said it was a Scottish beach. Yeah. Now, I asked my wife, Nancy, and she said she thought it was a crocodile. <laughs> but I think it's very good. Sorry, Bob, I did. So, Bob, well done, and carry on with the artwork. I still thought it was a crocodile on the beach. I, um, to me, straight away, it was a Scottish beach. Oh, brilliant. Anyway, now we're going to hand over to this esteemed panel, oh, Nancy, me. my yeah. wife, mm -hmm. Jack, my no. oldest friend and the owner of this gallery, and Mike, my agent, Woo, and my art agent. So we've got some questions from we've, you and from the public. We've got some questions that are coming from the Instagram social media stream, which uh, on the McQuaid's art. You mentioned some stuff about whimsical art, and Lorelei RV asks, is your work prog or glam rock? Well, looking at this, that's glam rock. Yeah. Looking at um, that, it's probably prog. prog. But, you know, what's the difference? Anyway, any other ones? There's loads. Well, should I? Nancy, a question from you. Do I like to ask you, when you do your lovely art, what music do you like to listen to? And what do you like to wear as well when you're... You were, right, well, now here's a good question. You know, because you come up and bring me a cup of tea now and then. Okay. And you hit, what do you hear? Well, I, I hear, um, actually, um, well, Brian, uh, Brian Eno. You hear a lot of Brian Eno, yes, because it depends what you paint it. If I'm painting something calm and collected, in fact, a lot of the time I like to be calm and collected. So, uh, quite a lot of the time I have no pussy foot, no pussy footing by my hands. <laughs> Frippin' um, Frippinino. Yeah. And that, that's a good one. Does it, I just how does it make you paint with a certain type of music? Well, does it I, go a bit faster? Yeah, yes, it does. So like, oh, yeah. right. if, I, if I'm going to paint something dramatic yeah. and really start attacking things, <laughs> I put on. Um, recently, I've been playing. Um, uh, oh, uh, what's his name? The bass, the jazz bass player. Um, oh, I've forgotten his name. But I've been going for some really like, um, hardcore jazz, and I do quite a lot. That's nice. Hardcore jazz, and I do like Henry Cow. Do you ever do classical? Does classical ever? N not really, no. But it would come in if I had some in there. Yeah. Anyway, another one. Okay. Jim. Mike. What do you wear when you're painting? What do I wear? Well, I've got my painting clover, which is ah. um, is <laughs> I've got some really like high quality old jeans which are like covered in paint but now here's the thing mm. um i woke up hiccuping the other morning i did say to you jim sort it and out. it was about four o'clock in the morning <laughs> i couldn't stop hiccuping so i went into the studio because nancy said get out of it so I went downstairs i couldn't stop i couldn't stop. so i thought i might as well go and start yeah, but jim, your hiccups aren't normal no, I was hiccuping, it wouldn't stop. So I went into the studio and Nancy had just bought me a lovely pair of new pyjamas. So I went down and put my boots on, went into the studio. I thought, I can't mess up the, the pyjamas. So I took them all off and I painted <laughs> nude. Um, bar the, your boots. Bar my boots. I just had my boots on and I was naked. Yeah. Painting till about seven or eight o'clock in the morning. To the sound of Henry Cow, by the way. Oh, wow. Actually, yes, know, yeah, Jack. Yeah, We've known each other for 40 odd years. Yes. I've got some stuff here that you probably haven't seen for 40 years, <gasps> and it relates Jack to extra large shoes, which I think has always been a feature of your work. <laughs> really? This was done when we all sat together in the Green Dragon, and you've caricatured. <laughs> <laughs> Some of our friends. <laughs> Can you show this? Jim, on your mind is out of control. Out Where of did control. you get this from? This I've had that forever. We should do. <laughs> How old were you, Jim, when you drew that? 
I must have been Eight. about 18. 17, 17, 18. 17, underage drinking, I think. <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. Is that um, Jim, what was the first picture you ever sold? I remember we went to see... Um, blimey, yeah. I do remember, actually remember doing it. Extra we went to see um, uh, Alien when it was first on at the cinema. God, that was scary. And then we came back and we all <laughs> went back. Because drawing was a big thing. We were in the pub and we all drew Alien with a huge head which looked like a penis. Indeed. <laughs> and we used to sit, caricature, you used to sit drawing people in the pub who we were sat opposite and you got their likeness so good that we would sat and almost wet ourselves <laughs> because you've drawn people opposite. It still does that now for me. Yeah. Yeah. So you see people, it's, it's, a drawer never stops drawing. Never no, my, what was your question? Because you said behind the um, My question to you is, what do you eat? <laughs> no, no, you said, what was what the first one? Yeah, what was the other one in the salt? What do I eat? What do you eat? I eat, um, I'll I tell you what, my favourite sandwich... Stank kidney well, pie, no. tell me. Oh, your, your, yes! Your oh. steak and kidney pie is excellent. Mike's steak and kidney, kidney pie. pie. But my favourite sandwich, if I'm working in the studio, corned beef... And beetroot. And beetroot. And mayo. Love it. Uh, two it's more questions food. from, 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 from the public. Sean V. Rebel says, what medium have you yet to play with but want to give a go? Ah, a good one. I'd love to do... Um, Bronze. I've oh, done sculptures, oh, yeah. and oh, yeah. I've done one. I did actually make a have a, a, a banana sculpted in bronze, and hung you it underneath a, a, a stool in a kind of Duchamp <laughs> way. Uh, and <laughs> but that was a banana that I took to the top of a mountain and one came back with. One more, and then we're we're going to have to go. Okay. Um, there we'll was back, one about a downstairs toilet. What? Innermost Ghetto from Instagram says, What artifact from history would you like to have casually on display in your downstairs toilet? Mm. <sighs> artifacts? I've actually made a lot of artifacts from history. I made, I, I put a lot of things in little um, boxes because if you put anything in a box, it looks like it's, um, it's precious. So I got a little bit of rag. And I said this, and underneath, and I tarnished it. And underneath, I wrote, "This was the ra the final rag of um, Elvis Presley that he wiped his face with, oh. or his toilet with." Yeah. <laughs> I can't remember. I've got, in fact, um, in our house, I've got a, there's a, a I've got a, an albino lapwing, and I said, "This is one of the lapwings that Mick Jagger used." <laughs> And, and if you just put a title underneath it, it kind of makes any artifact Park, valid. Yeah. And Park, so yeah, you can make your own um, artifact valid. Uh, but if I was going to pick someone's true, real yeah. artifact, the Turin Shroud, which I already own. You've already got that. Yeah. Just one last question. Can I say what is, I just saw on the notes here, what is your fav, favourite painting in our house? My favourite painting in uh, our house there is the lot. one of you and me without holding hands yeah. from our last. Um, our oh, last that's, that's too soppy to finish off with. Okay, but no, you love that. That's one more nice. question from uh, from people from the Instagram. That is yeah. lovely, though. That's love. There is Your a question love. here. I can't find the username, but they they actually say you you. Um, do you ever find it hard to let go of your paintings because you're yourself? I do find it very hard to let go of them, and there's some ones that I can't let go of. Uh, They're like children; you just don't. Yeah, let them go. sometimes you paint something you think I like that so much, and then maybe it's because it's very personal. <laughs> you can't let go of it, and that one there, I suppose, which takes us right back to the beginning, is. The front cover of my new book. It sounds like it sounds, sounds like QVC. It is. It? Yeah. But that, that's, <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll not get rid of that because it's the front cover of that. It's a really and, nice side. It's the best. Um, and and that, 
you that look great, means you? something. And you know, but you know, I'll never sell it. that's it. Anyway, thank you for joining me. Thank you, everyone. Um, I hope you've thank enjoyed you, the song. Let's nice do job. it again. Well done, Over and again. Hosted it as well. Bright art, brittle art.